And now, please welcome a member of MDA's National Task Force on Public Awareness, Angela Rigglesworth. As MDA fights muscle disease and sets our sights on pursuing muscle health, there's never been a more hopeful time for young people affected by these diseases. More than ever before, we are living into adulthood, striving for independence and raising children. But the transition to adulthood is still filled with obstacles. Obstacles that MDA is working to help young people navigate through with our transitions program. Now, let's meet Juan Carlos Morales and India Peters, who are determined to live their dreams despite the challenges of muscle disease. My name is Juan Morales, and I was diagnosed at the age of five with spinal muscular atrophy. Happy birthday! My name is India Peters, and I was diagnosed with FSH muscular dystrophy at the age of six. I currently have a master's in counseling psychology. I am enrolled in Prince George's Community College. I'm studying accounting and hopefully um, get my CPA. The MDA transition program has definitely helped me with my transition between the period of going to college and then adulthood. MDA's transitions program is about planning for a lifetime of happiness and not just a happy childhood. Young people who are diagnosed with what used to be considered pediatric onset neuromuscular diseases are now living long into adulthood. We have so many really bright young adults who are graduated from college and graduate school, and our transitions program has formalized ongoing training so that young people can learn to foster those seeds of independence and dream for themselves, dream big. I would like to own my own business one day. They will be rooted into helping others. I'm a counselor. I specialize in people that have problems with substance abuse or any type of problems with authority. I want to inspire people to reach their full potential. It's a great pleasure to be out here at MDA Summer Camp. I am proud of the fact that I have muscular dystrophy because it gives me a tool. The fact that I'm able to overcome a disability motivates people. How hard was it to adapt to college life? The MDA has helped empower me and my purpose in life because they're not only an organization, but they make it feel like a family. What was the hardest thing you think you had to go through while you were at college? India is going to need supports as she gets older, and she's going to have evolving needs as she gets married, has a family. One of India's biggest needs is research funding. I would like to thank all those who donate. Every penny, every dollar, all of it counts. It helps scientists find the cause so that maybe we could help find a treatment. What I hate about muscular dystrophy is that it still exists. We must find the cure, and we must find it soon. As part of its transitions program, MDA is advocating for changes in federal policy, changes that would expand resources and enhance quality of life for young people with muscle disease. That's just one crucial way MDA is helping outstanding individuals like Juan and India pursue their dreams. Help MDA to carry forward this important work. Donate now by calling 1-800-FIGHT-MD.